After what Ranrock did to that goblin banker at Gringotts, I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Arn. So it's just taking a shortcut. This looks intriguing. I'm curious as to the cave that's down here. That's not the right one. Lumos. I feel like I'm not supposed to be down here yet. I feel, like, I feel like that's important for later. It's getting dark out. Still haven't even attended our potions class yet. I get to the castle with all the night lights on. Nice. Shortcut. Okay, so just slept on the floor in potions class. Who 
solutions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. Venom's got a limp. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a wig and weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. I wonder, I wonder if we can win the house cut. a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. I like how they always need to be like so precise on like their measurements, but yet they don't actually like they just drop everything in. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do Also, I like how they have this like the massive cauldron. Professor and they get this little the recipe from potion. Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can logic. find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing. And we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. All right. Professor Sharp said that Wigginweld potion can treat injuries. Hope I never need it. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley, bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Another Weasley. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Ajurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single fooper feather. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. A uh, what now? I don't know, Gareth. I don't want to get on Sharp's bad side. You won't. Fooper feathers aren't that valuable. Sharp won't even miss it. Very well. I'll bring you a fruit of feather. Brilliant! Okay, let's do it Wait anyway. until you see what I'm doing. <clears throat> Hurry back to me when you have the feather. The guy's gonna get himself shot. Remember. Uh, from our office subject, Borgen and Burks. Uh, Borgen and Burks has increased the amount of activity. Has increased the amount of activity outside of its ordinary shop hours, particularly in the wee hours of the night, with suspicious deliveries being made at the shop's back entrance. Given what we know of the shop's reputation, we are adding up more auras, auras uh, to join these, join those who have already begun watching the shop. You're amongst the newest additions. Further instructions to follow. Revelio.
construction stations organized and free of clutter. Here's the flopper feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your own and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Man's gonna get himself blown up. Okay. Potions are two things that cannot be rushed. Have patience and be thorough. Apparently, it just it just does itself. All right. Can you go around just killing people? Not yet. I, d I don't have that spell yet. Also, hi, Millie. You, you don't know the spell yet. Oh yes, I know the spell, but my dude doesn't know the spell. Expecto Petroleum, that, sure. And now we add the Mallow Sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Get it. Get it. Oh. Dragon Duck, what happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. Lumos. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor, again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. Oh, okay. I the knew that was gonna happen. Will answer to me as well. I mean, I can just light people at fire. Kind of. My Wiganwell potion's utter rubbish. Wish I could just replace it with one from J. Pippins. Don't fret if you Brewed in the Duras potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. Um... I'm not sure what you're talking about, Professor. You will not earn favor with me by failing to take responsibility for your actions. I suggest you heed my warning. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. All right. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. A portrait in our common room wants to talk to you. It's Eldritch Diggory. He used to be the Minister for Magic, I think. What are you up to now? Stirred clockwise? Why does Diggory want to talk to me? Keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Oh, we're near one. 
Oh, there it is. Okay, on to the next one. Okay, I'm not sure where that is. We're in the Ravenclaw Tower Don't again. Keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Accio. Magical appearing stairs. That's fancy. More magical appearing stairs. I've seen one of those before. I don't know what their purpose is. Strange. Figure that out eventually. Where, where are we going? Incendium. Accio. Oh, we're still we're still going up. How high did they hide these damn things? Incendio. I need to light them on fire, but I don't know how from this from this distance. Why why am I all the way up here? I feel like there's got to be one near here somewhere. Okay, I'll follow the map again. Apparently I wasn't supposed to keep going up the stairs. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school because I know you It's just like a random trophy room in the... Hogwarts Herbology Award in recognition of the exemplary skills in the field of Herbology. Uh, Special Award to Buff, Marble, Garlic... Or Maribel, Garlic, sorry. Okay. Random-ass trophy room in the middle of the uh, Ravenclaw Tower. Rebellion. 
That's the, that's the thingy from from um, Goblet of Fire. There it is. That's the last of Zenobia's gobstones. I should go and see her. All right, let's go. We're really gonna figure out how flu powder works. We down all the stairs. Go this way. I would hate to live in this common room. So many fucking stairs that just randomly appear. the wall. Okay, go this way. Had more luck than I did tracking down my gobstones. Hello, Zenobia. You bet your ass I did. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However, did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well, <clears throat> may I have my gobstones back? Of course, they are yours after all. Oh, how wonderful. I shall dedicate all my future victories to you. Speaking of which. Now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. I'm sure they'd be willing to play after the trouble spent getting them back. It's a fine idea. They're gonna hate it. Oh, we'll have so much fun together laughing as all the losers get sprayed, which won't include me. Very well, off I go. Wish me luck. Okay, that's that one done.